This is Laura Stiles. She's the top high school basketball prospect in the country and set to break records across the nation. Hi, I'm Tom Brickman from ESPN Sports Time, and I sat down with Laura and her family to try and find out what makes Laura, Laura. Hi, I'm Laura Stiles. I'm a senior at Swallow High. I've been playing basketball since I was four years old, and I credit my dad with teaching me how to play basketball. Well, you know, ever since uh, Laura was just a little tight, <laughs> she loved playing with the ball. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it was natural after her mother left for me to support her uh, athletic ambitions as kind of an emotional outlet. When Laura started playing for her middle school team, she began to get noticed for her skills. I knew Laura was going to be big, real big. And that's when I decided I had to be her father. Well, Steve came by himself to watch the middle school girls basketball team practice. And I don't really know why he was there, but he started calling me his daughter. And well, here we are. Now, I know I wasn't too involved in her childhood and all, but I realized right then and there that I wanted to be involved in her life. Hand in the lives of those basketball moms, am I right? <laughs> I went to one of Laura's games and they asked me who I was there to see. Uh, and I said, Laura, I, I'm Jim Stiles, I'm her dad. And they wouldn't let me in because Steve was already there and he said he was her dad. I, I, uh, I can't say I really love the guy, but you know, it's, it, it is great that Laura has some more role models in her life. Well, I guess I liked that I had two parents again. Laura joined her high school basketball team, and that's when things really began picking up for her. I couldn't believe it. My daughter was a star. Oh, and those moms, they were all over me. Oh. It was so exhilarating, all the victories, being with my friends, and especially the support I got from my coach. Laura was an incredible talent. She had a real natural knack for the game, and she took to my coaching very well. It was almost as if she was my daughter. Bob would teach me how to shoot, different strategies, oh, no, took me to family reunions. I mean, it's good for a girl to have a, a good relationship with her coach, but I, uh, I, I can't say I was comfortable with the whole thing. Man, screw this guy, thinking he could be my daughter's dad or something like that. You know, that's an outrage. It's an outrage. Steve's rage was apparent from the start. Bob's decision to be Laura's father sparked an immediate custody battle between the two. I know I wasn't around much during her childhood, but from the moment I said I was her father, I was committed to fighting for her. That bastard can't just walk up and act like he's her dad. I already did that. To be honest, I thought it was kind of rude that they wanted to have a, a custody battle over my daughter without me. I mean, they didn't even have the courtesy to ask me, hey, Jim, uh, want to be in this custody battle with us? I mean. I'm not even married. Jim? Who the fuck is Jim? Today, the custody battle rages on, but Laura has persevered, even picking up scholarships and early WNBA deals. I just, I, I just couldn't be more proud of my daughter. I absolutely could not be more proud of my daughter. I absolutely could not be more proud of myself. You know, I dated like 20 moms this year, and you know what they say about those basketball moms, am I right? <laughs> I'm just really glad to have dads that really care about me. Laura is planning on signing the most lucrative deal in WNBA rookie history, being paid $20 million to play for the Chicago Sky. Those are 20 million reasons I could not be more proud to be her father. From all of us here at ESPN Sports Time, thank you. I'm Laura's dad. Hell no, she's my daughter, man. My daughter, mine. That's where I get my food. Jim? Who the fuck is Jim?